Hi everyone. In the number discuss the on the topic data representation, which is coming under the unit 2 computer system architecture. These are the contents of this topic data representation. Since this course being a crash course for UGC net exam, as I said in my earlier lectures, we are not focusing, we are not covering the entire topics. Rather, we are just focusing on the most relevant topics. Okay. So, in our previous two question papers analyze that is from 2019 June and 2019 December and we found that all the questions are from the topic number systems and conversion. So, in another class, we will discuss this topic in detail. Discuss him. Okay. So, let's start. Number systems and conversion. So, what is a number system? As the name suggests, Numbers in a represent GNITRA or a system. That is number system. Okay. And in this lecture, we will learn about the various types of number systems and how to convert from one number system to another. Okay. In digital electronics, the number system is used for representing the information. The number system has different bases. And the most common of them are decimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal. The base or radix of the number system is the total number of the digits used in the number system. That is, one number system is the base or the radix equal to the total number of the digits used in the number system. For example, we have a decimal number system. That's why we can represent 10 digits. That is from 0 to 9. So, what is the base value? 10. Okay. So, 4 number system. This is decimal number system, binary numbers, octal numbers, hexadecimal numbers. Okay. Decimal number system is the base of 10. And it will represent the numbers from 0 to 9. 10 digits. Uh, binary number system in the base is equal to 2 uh, and it will represent the two numbers 0 and 1. Octal number system is having the base octal 8 uh, and it will represent the numbers from 0 to 7 that is total 8 digits. Now hexadecimal numbers. Hexadecimal numbers is having the base 16 and uh, it will represent the numbers 0 to 9 and alphabets a to f thus total 16 digits okay so in the number can get on a conversion say in an oka therefore i'm go binary to decimal converter in an hour work in an oka in an hour conversion not a kind of oka number with every example question is done other defines another that is to convert the binary number one zero one zero one which is having the base two two its corresponding decimal number. Okay. So, we are going to conversion from the right end, that is from the least most significant bit. That bit will be the left load 10 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2 and multiply the sum up. So, that is binary to decimal conversion. Okay. Next, we are going to conversion from the binary to decimal conversion. So, we will get uh, decimal equivalent as 21, which is having the base 10. So, our second figure is uh, the same operation but it is a little easier way. Aana. That is, uh, we know 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1, 2 to the power 1 is equal to 2, and 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4, then 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. These values are orthogonal. We can convert easy to uh, binary numbers in decimal. Lo to convert so, next, octal to decimal. It is same as before. Uh, we will 2 to the power 1 multiply the power 1 and we will the base of 8. Aana. So, we are using 8 uh, to the power values for getting the decimal equivalent of an octal number. Uh, in the figure, in the example, in the uh, where the example is uh, 8 to the power 0 is equal to 1, 8 to the power 1 is equal to 8, 8 to the power 2 is equal to 64, 8 to the power 3 is equal to 512. 
then our values multiply uh, then we are getting the answer okay simple ana ee oru value inde oru conversion inde endo logic manasilai kanya baaki ella namaku simply follow cheyan pattunnade ullu one is hexadecimal to decimal converter adinathu namaku ariyam 10 digits um 6 letters aanu ullathu 6 letters a to f is having the values a is equal to 10 b is equal to 11 c is equal to 12 d is equal to 13 and e is equal to 14 and finally f is equal to 15 so namaku example nathu uh, 19 f d e ennalla hexadecimal number na decimal equivalent lot convert cheya convert cheyana vendathu so as same before nammal endu cheyunu 16 ond multiply 16 de power values ond multiply cheythu sum up cheyidukunu uh, so uh, starting from the least most significant bit e e is equal to 14 so 14 into 16 raised to 0 plus next one is d d is equal to 13 so 13 into 16 raised to 1 plus f is equal to 15 15 into 16 raised to 2 plus 9 into 16 raised to 3 plus 1 into 16 raised to 4 which is equal to 106462 to the base 10 okay that is all about uh, conversion to decimal next topic is decimal to binary conversion decimal numbers can be converted to binary by repeated division of the number by 2 while recording the remainder so engana uh, convert cheynathu decimal number ne nammal repeatedly 2 and endu cheyna divide cheynu and we are storing the remainder then we are reading the remainder from bottom to top that is from lowest significant bit to most significant bit and that is the equivalent binary representation okay so in our example 43 uh, to the base 10 in our binary load to convert to you so 43 is uh, repeatedly divided by 2 and we get reminders as 1 1 0 1 0 1 from the top and we have to take it from the least significant bit so we take from bottom that is 1 0 1 0 1 1 that is the binary equivalent. Next one is decimal to octal. Uh, decimal to octal in the jena number. A to under repeatedly decimal number na multiply uh, sorry divide it no. Then uh, reminder na from least significant uh, bit in the number mogul loaded the story. Na. That is the octal equivalent of the decimal number. Uh, number your example 473. That is a decimal number. Uh, which is multi, uh, repeatedly divided by 8 uh, and having the reminder as 731. So it is the octal equivalent. Okay. Decimal to hexadecimal number and the 16 on the repeatedly divide you know, then uh, reminders at the output you know, that is uh, decimal to hexadecimal. So next one is binary to octal. Binary to octal and the binary number is the one that is from the right side adana nammal 3 vechu count cheythu split team so ee or example nokkanengi 10110010101 so from the right end that is from the least significant bit nammal uh, split cheyan povana so aadithe 3 bits nammal split cheythu 101 then 010 then 011 then 01 so finally namaku end e kittiyullu rendu values e kittiyullu so in that cases we can add zeros okay namaku aa or case la end add cheyam zeros add cheyidha adoru 3 aaka 3 numbers aaki maatam then ee oro group ne nammal end cheyam adinde octal equivalent lotu maatam that is 101 is equal to 5 010 is equal to 2 110 is equal to 6 and 010 is equal to 2 thus we get 2625 as the result okay opposite octal to binary that is we have binary to octal we have octal to binary to convert an octal number to binary each octal digit is converted to its 3 bit binary equivalent according to this table so we have example 54673 is the uh, octal number so this table we uh, 8 octal digits in the binary equivalent. So, that is the basis of the octal value. 
binary equivalent uh, that is octal to binary conversion so here 5 is equal to 101 4 is equal to 100 0. 6 is equal to uh, 110 and 7 is equal to 111 3 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. so we will binary to convert binary so now the last topic of this session binary to hexadecimal conversion to convert a binary number to hexadecimal number these steps are followed starting from the least significant bit make groups of 4 bits if there are 1 or 2 bits less in making the groups zeros can be added after the most significant bit convert each group into its equivalent octal number sorry equivalent hexadecimal number so we will convert the octal out to convert the octal out to convert the 3 bits uh, 3 bits split we split 4 bits split the the corresponding hexadecimal value in the output result